le sous-prison in the name of Jesus. We are praying that every section, every period, every you know, every every form of gathering, anything we are going to be doing today, we are praying that every will be form of encounter in Jesus' name. We are praying that every minister you will be using this evening, your mind and the rest upon them in the name of Jesus. And we are praying that we will order our steps in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, for your In Jesus' name we pray. Let us begin to walk to the name of the Lord. Let us give him the glory for bringing us to this place. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him because of his greatness. Thank him because of his goodness in our midst. Thank him for bringing you to his presence once again. Today we are Sunday what is seven and we are here back in his presence. Let us give him the glory. Let us adore him. Because his word is his praise. Let us thank him because he has never departed from us. Let us thank him because he has not left us alone. Worship him, you are a friend and you are a sinner, you are a finalist, give him the glory for his faithfulness upon your life. You are a friend, that doesn't mean you are still new to the system. To lift up to his feet, worship the name of the Lord, give him the glory. Thank him for his grace upon your life, thank him for his presence that always been with you. Give him the glory, adore his holy name. Worship him concerning your story, thank him concerning the things to bring him. Thank you because of the success that is guaranteed in those tests. Thank you because of life. You know, thank you for life. Thank you for provision. Thank you because you are not dead in this time. You are not dead at this period. Give him the glory. Thank you because you are not in the hospital. Give him the glory. Adore his holy name. Thank you because in the beginning of this session, you don't add any force to the bread. I don't know what you think. Why don't you give him the glory? Praise the Lord, praise God in the sanctuary, praise Him in the firmament of His power, praise Him for His mighty heart, praise Him according to His excellent greatness, praise Him with the sound of His trumpet, praise Him with His shouting and harp, praise Him with His timbrel and dance, praise Him with strength instruments and organs, praise Him upon the loud timbrel, praise Him upon the high standing timbrel. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I don't what you think. I don't give Him the glory. You have bread inside of you. You are breathing in and breathing out. You are still alive. Worship the name of the Lord. You are the presence of the Lord for a reason and tonight is the time of encounter. Thank Him because He has brought His presence to ignite His power within you. Give Him the glory because He has brought His presence to ignite that strength, to read that strength to study, the speed and accuracy that you need. Thank Him because He has brought His presence to receive those things. Why don't you worship Him this day? Why don't you adore His holy name? Give him the glory, give him the glory, adore him, worship him. There is nothing else that can give to the Lord without praise. If you don't worship him, there is nothing else. Worship him in his presence, give him the glory, and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I adore your holy name. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you honor for your grace upon my life. Thank him for standing your parents. Thank him because of the provision he granted unto them. To be able to pay your school fees, to be able to pay all things you, 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 you pay. Thank him, thank him, give him the glory. I don't want his holy name because even after everything, the Lord has brought to you. Thank him because even after all the complaints and murmuring, the Lord has brought us here. Even after all the setbacks, the Lord has brought us here. Why don't you worship him? I don't want his holy name. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him because he will move here in our midst tonight. Thank him because this day the Lord's presence will be mighty in our midst. Thank you because the hand of the Lord will rest upon you today. Thank you because the strength that you need to navigate this university of the the Lord will give unto you. The wisdom you need, the strength you need, the understanding you need, the Lord will give unto you. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. Worship Him because He's going to do a great thing in our midst. Thank you because He's going to rock wonders in our midst tonight. Are there men that are praying? Are there sisters and brothers that are calling out to the Lord and saying, God, I worship you? We give you the glory because you are going to do something new in our midst. Thank you because you are going to speak to us. Thank you because you are going to speak to my needs tonight. Worship the name of the Lord. Thank you because his word is to be praised. Thank you because in our midst tonight, he's going to prove himself mighty. He's going to prove himself worthy of being called God. Thank you because even in this place, the presence of the Lord will rest upon us and then we will receive something new, something fresh in His presence. I don't think you will be glory because you know that you will not live here with your problems. Thank you because you know that the Lord is going to touch and open your eyes to see 
you what the act is for. Thank you because it's going to move to the point of your need. Thank you because nothing will hinder your problem tonight. Nothing will hinder your thoughts in front of the Lord tonight. Nothing will hinder solutions to your problem tonight. Thank you because there will be no limitation, no obstruction to the thoughts of God tonight. Thank you because we shall operate under open heaven tonight. What she the name of the Lord. Sing praises in his holy name. Adore his holy name because he is worthy to be praised. Thank you because he is worthy to be adored. Why don't you worship him? Why don't you worship him and enter his gate with thanksgiving? Enter his court with singing and with praises. Just worship him. Worship him because you know that he's going to do something in your life. Thank you because the hand of the Lord will be stretched out upon you. And